Today we are checking out the night, otherwise known as the 1989 Batmobile inside a drive world. So yeah, let's move on to the upgrades. For the engine, I recommend you leave it stock and get all the race upgrades and also recommend you get a race chassis. For the suspension tune, I recommend you pause the video, but here's some screenshots. For the gearbox, I recommend you leave it stock, but yeah, let's move on to the first race, which is Hurricane. Alright guys, we hear Hurricanes, like I said, danger. I'll we'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get doable 1 minute 0 0.8 on Hurricane, but yeah, let's move on to the next race, which is Speed Avenue. Alright guys, so here at Speed Avenue, just like I said, danger, we'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, so you can get a doable 56.6 .6 on Speed Avenue, but yeah, let's move on to the final race, which is drag. Alright guys, we're here at drag, just like I said, danger, I'll see you guys in a second of the results. <laughs> Alright guys, so you can get a doable 11.4 on drag, but yeah, let's move back to the garage so we can make some final changes before we do one last test. Alright guys, so we're back at the garage, just like I said, and yeah, before we do one last test, which is a trailer transport test, you need to change the chassis back to stock. And for the suspension tune, I recommend you pause the video, but here's some screenshots of the updated suspension tune. But yeah, let's move on to the trailer transport job. Alright guys, so we're here at the trailer transport job, just like I said, and yeah, let's see how this thing can do. Exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude Alright guys, so we've done the trailer transport job, but yeah, let's move on. Alright guys, so what are our final thoughts on this Halloween car? Well, it's an overall quite decent car. The top speed is decent, but it's a bit slow. The acceleration is decent. The brakes overall are good, and the handling overall is decent, but it's a bit stiff in the corners. But how good is the night for trailer jobs? Well, it's a surprisingly good car. The top speed is decent, but it's a little slow. The acceleration is pretty decent. The brakes are overall surprisingly good and the overall handling for trailer jobs is good and the weight overall is quite decent and the car itself is surprisingly stable. Now overall the night is only worth getting if you're looking for mainly a decent all-rounder to use for road racing or another car to use for trailer jobs however there are better options out there for racing like the Zeus Evo and there are also better options out there for trailer jobs like the Hammer A1 which overall makes the night only useful for collection purposes and its current auction price also holds it back as well. So yeah you you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think but other than that huge shout out cloud and rules having today's video don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace